Hello everyone and welcome to Control Engineering and Control Theory Tutorials. In these tutorials we present real and applicable knowledge of control engineering, machine learning, optimization, robotics, mechatronics, etc. In this control engineering tutorial we explain how to generate a Nyquist plot of a transfer function in Python. And here is a graph of a Nyquist plot that you will learn how to generate in this video tutorial. Besides teaching you how to generate Nyquist plots, I will also explain how to polish the Nyquist plot graph. That is, I will explain how to set X and Y limits, X and Y labels, how to adjust the font size, and how to add some other nice features such as these arrows and the starting point. And finally, I will explain how to save this graph in a file that you can add to your report or to your paper. This video tutorial is based on the Python Control Systems Library. This library is a very, very, very useful tool for analysis and design of feedback control systems. For example, by using this library, we can perform stability analysis of both linear and nonlinear systems. Then we can play with block diagrams. Then we can compute the time response, such as step response, impulse response, or response to initial conditions. Then we can compute frequency response. We can perform model order reduction. We can design controllers such as LQR, H2, or H-infinity. Now, some of you might stop me at this point and ask me the following question. Why do we need to learn this library when we have MATLAB and all the power of MATLAB Control Systems Toolbox? Well, the answer is very simple. This library is completely free. On the other hand, if you want to use MATLAB or if you, for example, working for a company, you will have to pay thousands of dollars for just the basic MATLAB toolbox. Here I have to say that I'm a big fan of MATLAB and I like MATLAB very much. Before I start with explanations, I would like to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as almost 300 video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel and consequently I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's start from scratch. The first step is to install the Python Control Systems library and as you can see over here I'm using the Anaconda Navigator and I will explain how to install this library by using Anaconda. However, if you're using some other environment or if you're just using the basic command prompt the installation procedure is the same. I will click on environments and I will open my base or root terminal. Then I will simply write, write pip install control and magic happens. In my case you can see that the requirements are already satisfied. This is because I have already installed this library. However, in your case you will probably see a progress over here and maybe after a few seconds the library will be installed. After you do that, click on Home and open your favorite Python editor from Anaconda Navigator. It's very important to open your favorite Python editor from Anaconda environment or from the original environment because you installed this library in that environment. In my case, I'm using Spider. So if I click over here, my Spider will open up. I have to mention that the spider is a very useful editor for Python. It reminds me of MATLAB since you can simply select a piece of code, you do the right click and you can evaluate it. Before we learn how to generate the Nyquist plot in Python Control Systems Toolbox, we first need to learn how to define transfer function. Let us consider the following example. Let us transfer function be defined as follows. And in the denominator, I will have, for example, s to the power 3 plus 2, s squared plus 2. 
how to define this function in Python control system toolbox. Well, to do that, we first need to define two lists. The first list, called n new m, which is a shorthand for numerator, will take all the coefficients of the polynomial in the numerator. The coefficients are 1, here we have 1 times s squared, then over here we have 2, so second coefficient is 2, and the third coefficient is 5. And we always start from the coefficient that corresponds to the s to the highest power. And in our case, that's 1. Similarly, we define another list that corresponds to the coefficients of the polynomial in the denominator. Over here, we have 1 times s to the power 3, and consequently, over here, have, we have 1. Then, we have 2 times s squared. Over here, we have 2. What do we have over here? Hmm, very good question. Let us write this polynomial as follows. 1 times s to the power 3 plus 2s squared plus 0 times s plus 2. Aha! Uh -huh. We see over here that we have 0. And finally, we have 2. Okay, let's see how to define transfer functions in Python. The first step is to import the necessary libraries. We first import the control systems toolbox library, that is, we write import control sct, and this is the standard and recommended import command. We always import this library sct. Of course, you can use some other notation or some la other letters, however, it's not recommended. Next, we import the plotting tools, and over here, we can define our transfer function. So let's go back to our example. What is our example? We have 1, 2, 5. Okay. So in the numerator, we will write 1, 2, 5. Great. Let's see what is in the denominator. In the denominator, we have 1, 2, 0, 2. Consequently, we write 1, 2, 0, 2. And by using this command, ct.tf, or better to say this function, tf, and by specifying numer numerator and denominator lists, we can define our transfer function. So let's do that and let's see the result. Voila, here it is. s squared plus 2s plus 5, s squared plus 2s plus 5, and over here we have s to the power 3 plus 2s squared plus 2. Here it is. So far, so good. Since I want my Nyquist plot to have a nice shape in this video, I will not use this example. Instead, I will use another example of a transfer function. And here is the example. The example is a very simple transfer function that looks like this. W of s is equal to 1 over s squared plus 2s plus 1. And obviously, this is equal to 1 over s plus 1 squared. Let's construct this example in Python. What do we have over in the numerator? We have 1, and consequently, our numerator list will be 1. How about the denominator? Uh -huh. We have 1, 2, and 1. Consequently, we write 1, 2, 1. Let's see the transfer function. Voila, here it is. And this is exactly what is written over here. Next, we will learn how to generate the Nyquist plot in Python. To make this video as short as possible, I simply paste the script I wrote previously. And let me explain line by line of this script. First, we need to specify the figure size. In my case, I will have a figure of 10 by 10. Next, I specify x and y limits for the x and y axis, and I specify x label and y label. Finally, I set the font size for both axes and for other numbers that will be shown on the figure. 
In practice, you don't know these limits before generating the Nyquist plot. So, you first generate the Nyquist plot, you look at the x and y axis, and then you adjust x and y limits. We generate the Nyquist plot by using this function, Nyquist plot. We specify as the first argument our transfer function, then we specify this parameter, return contour true. This means that we will return these two variables, count and contour. Count will count number of encirclements of the point minus one. And this is very useful for stability analysis. And the second variable is used to create the primary Nyquist curve segment. This second parameter will return the frequency corresponding to the contour. Then, we specify the number of arrows, we specify the arrow size, we specify the start marker, we specify the start marker size, and we specify the line width. After we do that, we can simply save our plot. So let's see the results. Let's evaluate everything from the beginning. And voila! Here's our Nyquist diagram. Let us further explain these properties. Errors is equal to 2. This means that we have two errors shown over here and over here. Let's change these parameters and let's specify four errors, for example. And let's see the result. Here it is. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's change the error size, for example, to 16. Let's see the result. Here it is. Errors are larger. Start marker is this marker over here. We can change that marker. We can, for example, use X. And let's see the result. Here it is. Here is X. We can adjust the start marker size. We can, for example, specify 18 here. And it's larger. And let's change the line width. For example, let's put the 8. This will be probably a very thick line. Uh, never mind. Let's see the result. Good. Perfect. You can also change the colors. You can also play with the other properties. And finally, we have this simple function to save our graph. We save it, for example, as Nyquist.png, and we specify dots per inch. That is, we specify the resolution. This command is very useful since you will have an image file that you can include in your scientific report or in your student Word file. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I create, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much and have a nice day.